Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan. Today I am going back through time and recreating one of my tutorials from years ago, which was how to curl your hair using a straight iron or a flat iron. Up to this day, I still get a lot of questions about what to do, what not to do, how to make it last, etc. And in this video, I've decided to also include the answers to that question. So if you are interested, then don't forget to hit that like button below so that I know to make more videos like this. And if you would like your hair to be curled using a flat iron like this, then let's just hop right into it. Okay, so let's get started. Now I have here my air dried hair and before we jump right into it, I would recommend that you use any heat protectant that you have. At the moment, I don't really have one. Um, I've run out of it and there's really not one heat protectant spray or serum that I would recommend right now anyway. Um, so as long as you can protect your hair, do that first before you get to curling it with a flat iron or even before you get into using any heat tools on your hair. That's a really important step, especially if you're like me who uses heat on their hair quite often. And after you have applied your heat protectant on your hair, I would suggest sectioning it off first, especially if you have thick and coarse hair like mine. This will help make the process easier for you and for your heating tool as well. You can section off your hair any way you like with a clamp, with a ponytail, or anything that can help you section your hair really. At the moment, I'm just using a ponytail and just doing this on my hair. So as you can see, I only have this first layer of hair to work with, or first section of hair to work with. Now what I'm gonna do, this is very specific to me and my method, but I would split it into two at the back. Doesn't have to be even, just mainly because I'd like to work with one half of the section first before I move on to the other half. That just makes it easier for me as well to see that I will be able to curl my hair outside and they are quite even. So I have here my flat iron that I have been using. If you saw my last video, this is still the flat iron that I am using. And this is the Philips Selfie Straightener. I will leave the full name or model down below. But first off, I will choose to start off with one side and this would be this side. So even if I've already halved the sections, I would still use smaller sections to curl at a time. So here we have our first section. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the flat iron through first just to get that heat through the hair. Now you can kind of see that it's starting to curl and what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and sit a bit closer for this. As I move the flat iron down, I'm going to turn it outwards away from my face and carefully hold the flat iron. If you have gloves, use gloves, but I just don't use gloves with mine. And you will see that the end of your hair, it has turned around and that's pretty much how you do a curl with a flat iron. There you go. So at the moment, I just do it at the bottom or at the end of the hair. But if you would like to do it starting from somewhere a bit closer to your head, then that's okay too. That's also possible. So I'm going to show you how I would do it if I wanted it to start higher. So same as before, just running the flat iron straight through first. And then I would start really high. And really I would go through quite slowly. The trick that I have learned with curling with a flat iron is it is that Part of the reason why this works for me, I think, is that my flat iron has 
rounded edges or it's quite rounded on the outside. So there we go. There. And then you just kind of help it with your fingers by doing that. Don't loosen it up. Let it um, sit in the curl for a little bit. And like I said, what has helped me is that my flat iron is quite rounded on the outside, so it is able to create some nice curls for me. I haven't tried this on a flat iron that's quite boxy, um, but if you have and it has worked for you, please leave a comment down below so that other people will be able to find that out as well. So now that I'm done with that section, I will just put it to the back and I will do the other side now. Again, choosing to work in smaller, even smaller sections is important. We want to be able to evenly distribute that heat throughout your hair. So again, I'm going to just show you and talk you through the step. So I would run the flat iron through a few times first, straight through the hair, and then slowly move the flat iron to turn away from my face until the end of the flat iron is all the way to the other side. It's almost the same method as if you were curling really with a flat iron. If you are familiar with that process. And so now we have this. If you aren't happy with it, you can go through the hair again a few times until you've just reached your the curl that you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna resection my hair really quickly by putting my hair to one side and taking out this part and just resection another smaller group of hair. I will be repeating this process up until I finish all of the hair that I have and I am happy with the curls that I have. So at the moment, someone has just started doing their lawn and is making a bit of noise. So I'm just gonna overlay some music at this part, but hopefully the visuals will also be able to help you. Okay, so really quickly, if you want curls that are a bit more loose, you just have to get a bigger section of hair to run the flat iron through. And also, try to run it like almost sliding the hair off of it, like that. So that gives you a bit more of a loose curl, and this curl will loosen throughout the day. Now, if you have bangs, that's just up to you. If you want to also curl it a little bit, have it a bit wavy, or if you want to straighten it, that is up to you. I usually like to curl it, not really curl it, but just have it go away from my face so that it kind of matches the rest of my hair. 
And lastly, I'm down to the last section. So I would leave it up to you to decide how thick you want your sections or how thin you want them to be. But you definitely don't want them to be too thick. Again, what we want to do is to be able to distribute the heat evenly throughout the hair. That could cause it to not curl the way that you want it to. And I think in my last video, that's actually some of the questions that I had was that apparently it didn't work for them. Um, it could be that. Maybe try using smaller sections at a time. Or if it still doesn't work, then... Perhaps this isn't the method for you to try. So again, this method has worked for me based on my experience. And that is why I'm just sharing it with everyone as well. The back part is always tricky because I can't see what I'm doing really. Um, it really helps when you're working with a mirror or a camera. All right, so this is it. Curled hair using a flat iron now you can see that this is still some of them are still quite tight curls but you would just run your hair through if you wanted to loosen them up a little bit and of course if you want them to last as well you could opt to use some hair mousse hairspray whatever it is that you are used to using for myself though my hair tends to keep the curls quite well so i don't really use any hairspray or mousse on it not unless i am going to a formal event and i do actually want to put the little extra effort in and make sure that it all stays perfect for an everyday look i would just run my hair through and just let it loosen up a bit so let me just show you how it looks like at the back. All right, and that is it. And now just to answer some of the common questions that I got from my last video, I wanted to be able to address them in this one, this time around. First question, I mentioned this earlier, if you are using any heat tools on your hair, definitely use heat protectant. I would suggest that. At the moment, again, I didn't have any, but I would suggest that you use it. Um, secondly, if you are working with thick hair like mine, make sure to work with sections that are small. Don't... Um, don't use big sections because the heat will not distribute evenly which might result in your hair not curling the way that you would like it to third is in line with that whole curling thing if it doesn't work for you try again try to work with smaller sections and if if it still doesn't work then perhaps this method of mine might not be for you um, if it doesn't work though, maybe you can leave a comment down below and I will try my best to help you out. Um, please do understand, however, that it is quite difficult for me to be able to help you because I cannot really see what you are doing with the flat iron or how you are styling your hair. So I will try my best and hopefully we can curl your hair together <laughs> virtually. Um, also another question that I always get, and I did talk about this as well, if you would like to, the curls to stay on for longer, obviously use some products to help your hair keep it. Um, not all hair types are able to keep a hairstyle quite well. Mine luckily can keep this curl quite well for the whole day if I wanted it to just look natural and loose. However, if your hair does tend to lose the curl or lo um, lose hold of the curl, then definitely use some mousse or hairspray to help it keep it throughout the day if that's what you are after. Um, what else? Lastly, again, the flat iron that I'm using right now is still the Philips Selfie Straightener. I would recommend that you use a flat iron that has, again, the rounded 
um, outer edge so that the hair can curl around it quite nicely as if you were using an actual curling iron. So I think that's it for the frequently asked questions from my last video. I hope I was able to address a lot of them. And if I missed your question, then leave it in the comment section below. I've just had a hard time keeping up with that last video. And I found myself answering the same questions quite a few times. So hopefully this video was able to answer a lot of that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe below and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos like this. If you found this helpful, please share it with your friends and family if you think that they might find it useful as well. And I'm uploading weekly at the moment, so I hope to see you all in the next video next week.